What is up? It's your boy and you're bringing to you guys a brand new freaking video man. So look, listen, today, today we got a fun one. Today we got an exciting one. Today we're going to be talking about the brand new Toyota Tacoma or Toyota truck that's going to be all electric. I know there's a lot of speculation for the next generation Tacoma to be a turbo engine, but Toyota just came out and just whipped the band-aid clean off. They're going electric by 2030. So obviously I'm super, super stoked and I think if you're a Toyota fanboy, I think you are too. Let's talk about it. I'm going to put it on screen now as I talk to you guys about what's going on. So we're going to talk about quite a few things in today's video. Let's talk about the looks. Let's talk about the performance and let's talk about the interior space. Now before we get into this video, I do want to say everything that I'm going to say is just speculation and of course it's just what I want and I think it's a good talking point. Hopefully Toyota sees this. Hopefully Toyota takes a little bit of notes on what I'm about to tell you guys. But let's start off with the looks. The looks are 10 out of 10. I wouldn't change a thing about that Tacoma except for the grill. It kind of has the invisible roof type thing. But it's a very, very solid looking truck. To be honest, it kind of looks like a Toyota Tacoma and a Tundra. You know, it came out sick. Honestly, I think that's like the least important thing. Because, well... With this new Tacoma, you're not gonna see this anymore. We might actually have a frunk in a Toyota Tacoma, which is gonna be absolutely insane. I'm assuming it's gonna have multiple, multiple powertrains, so that's what I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about. Now, my question to you about the powertrain is, obviously they're gonna have two-wheel drive, obviously they're gonna have a four-wheel drive model, but are they gonna be able to do locking rear differentials, locking front differentials for the off-road enthusiast? Because although we like to off-road, not me, you know, we as Tacoma owners maybe sometimes will hit a gravel road. But are we going to be able to put locking differentials? The only reason I ask is because I don't know if it's been done. I know there's like electronic ones, but will there be mechanical ones? I don't know if there can be. I have an RC car that has locking differentials. It's powered by a battery, but there's mechanical parts. I don't know. I recently saw the video of a Model X trying to off-road. If you haven't seen it, you have to watch it. I'll try to link it down below. It didn't work. It, it was not working. It was just spinning the wheels very, very fast, going nowhere without the locking diff. This one doesn't have a locking diff, but you know, if it did, it'd be cooler, especially if it was electric. Also, by 2030, we have to think that there's gonna be a lot more charging stations. Now me, I live relatively close to the city. At least from what I know of, there are two charging stations remotely close to me. One of them is about 30 to 40 minutes away. The other one, bada boom, bada bing, baby. We're five minutes away from charging, okay? How long is that gonna take? An hour? Two hours? Three hours? Hopefully they can get the charging time down as well as the range down because no one wants to sit in the parking lot for hours on end. Except for me, because I like to sit in parking lots and make videos. Alrighty, so this is another big point for me. More space. More space in the Tacoma. Now, I will admit, the truck looked rather small, but, but hold on. Hold on. Hold the phone. There may be a little bit more room. Now, hear me out. Pretend that we're advertising the new truck. The brand new 2031 Toyota Tacoma with bench seating. There's a bench right there because, you know, we're not gonna need this because it's gonna be electrical so they can just get rid of that and we can have a bench. Introducing the first six-seater mid-size pickup truck. Also in the brand new Tacoma, hold on. No, you don't have to deal with not being comfortable in the middle seat because we got rid of that thing. So now you can sit level with your feet. And then they show one of these going on. But in all seriousness, I think they could do a lot with the interior. Now, having three seats in a Tacoma, come on, come on. Would that not be sick? That would be insane having a middle seat. Two rows in a Tacoma is sick. Two rows plus one. I mean, come on. That could mean you, your girlfriend, and a dog. Or however you you arrange the front seat. Getting rid of that will help a ton. As long as they don't put that thing out even more, which I don't think they will because they will, one, have a third seat there or some type of flatter, more flush look. Also, what do you guys think about that? Ow.
I completely forgot what I was doing just now. Yeah, the Tacoma. The Tacoma is going to be something crazy. Now, honestly, I think that would be one of the first cars, one of the first vehicles that they unravel, that they show off, just because it's one of their biggest selling vehicles. So I would think it would be dumb if they chose like that supercar looking thing or one of those electric delivery vehicles. To be honest, I'm kind of scared, okay? I'm 22 right now. So that means when this comes out, I'll be 31 or 32. I should be able to see it, right? But do I want to see it? Like, I don't know. I don't know if people before my time were scared for the future as much as I am right now. Do we want an electric Tacoma? Like, could you imagine getting in a truck, a Tacoma first off, right? A Toyota Tacoma or Toyota truck and it being able to get to 60 miles an hour in three seconds. Now those aren't actual numbers, but that's what electric cars are at. That's easy money. Three to five seconds. Some are even at under two seconds. So it's crazy to think, but, um, it may be the reality. So I'm not super stoked. I'm not super sold. I'm not super excited, but also I am. I don't know. I'm very torn, but I think as the time gets closer, we definitely will definitely see how we're feeling. Also, those tires on that truck look extremely thick, like way too thick. I'm sitting here running some 245 skinny boys. Those, those were not 245s. I'll tell you that much. They and it, what was crazy is they weren't poking out. They were sticking in like they were thick this way. So I don't know. Kudos to you, Toyota. I mean, I'm down with it. Nonetheless, I just wanted to get on here, talk to you guys, get your opinion, see what you guys think. A lot of people haven't seen it yet, nor have any idea. So for the 2,997 of you that subscribed, thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for liking, commenting, and subscribing. It's been your boy. I'm Adelaide Gennady. I'll see you tomorrow. Cinco de Malo. Peace.